Hello and welcome. My name is Ryan Colist. I'm a technical marketing engineer here at VMware. And in this video, we're going to demonstrate how VMware SD-WAN automates the creation of IPsec tunnels from our edges to Palo Alto Network's Prisma Access. Before we initiate the automation from the VMware SD-WAN orchestrator, there's a one-time manual configuration that must be performed in the Palo Alto Strata Cloud Manager. So once we're logged into the Strata Cloud Manager, we're going to navigate to Workflows, Prisma Access Setup, and remote networks. What we're going to configure here are the Ike and IPsec defaults that the VMware SD-WAN service is going to use when initiating the tunnels to Prisma. So we go over to Add Remote Networks. Now we don't need to configure everything in this section because again, all we need are the Ike and IPsec defaults. So we're going to go here under Primary Tunnel to Setup. And once we're in here, we're going to say Create New. Scroll down to the bottom, click Ike Advanced Options, Create New, we'll give it a name. The encryption defaults to the correct setting, so we'll leave that one alone. Under Authentication, we'll add SHA-256 and remove SHA-1. Under Diffie-Hellman Groups, we'll add Group 14, remove Group 2 and we'll change the lifetime from 8 to 24 hours and save. And save one more time. Now we'll go back and do the same thing for IPsec. Create new, give it a name. Again, the encryption defaults to the correct setting, so we'll leave that alone. We'll change the authentication to SHA-256. We'll disable PFS. And we'll change the lifetime from one to eight hours. Save and save. So at this point, even though there are some required fields still in this configuration, we can go ahead and just cancel out of this. And now we're done with what we need to do on the Strata Cloud Manager side. So we'll go to the SD-WAN orchestrator. I'm logged into the orchestrator as an MSP admin, so I'm going to select the customer I want to configure this for. Navigate to Configure, Security Service Edge. The first thing that we need to do is add our subscription details that the automation will use to authenticate to Prisma when making API calls. We'll give it a name. We'll select Prisma Access under the subscription type. The tenant service group ID is a value that is automatically assigned by Palo Alto Networks when a tenant is created in the Strata Cloud Manager, so we'll get this value from them. Likewise, the username and password must match whatever we have configured on the Palo Alto side. And finally, we'll add our customer's domain. And at this point, we can validate our subscription details, make sure that they work, and they do, so we'll save. Now we're going to go to the SSE integration side to actually kick off the automation. We'll click New SSE Integration. The subscription type defaults to Prisma Access, so we'll leave that. Under Cloud Subscription, we'll choose the credentials we just created, and say Next Step. We'll give it a name. The minimum bandwidth per tunnel value is used by the automation as a check to ensure that we're not oversubscribing the Prisma node when multiple edges are connecting to that node. The default value is 2 megabits per second, so we'll leave that. Exempt these WAN link types would allow the automation to skip a particular WAN link. For example, if we had a metered cellular link that we didn't want tunnels configured over, we could select that. My edge is a single link, so I'll leave that set to none. And finally, under tunneling protocol, Here's where we can find the defaults that we configured on the Strata Cloud Manager. So select those, create and continue. And finally, we need to decide what edges we want this automation to run on. So the first filtering mechanism is by profile. So I'll select my branch profile. Now I'll have a list of the edges. I'll select which segment I want this automation to run for. And then I'll select my edge. 
One last validation check to make sure everything is in order. And once that validates, I'll save and finish. At this point, the automation has initiated. If we want to check the progress, we can go here under View, and we can see that it is in progress. If we want details about the specific API calls being made and their progress, we can see that. This will take five to 10 minutes per WAN link to complete. So we'll just have to wait a few minutes and eventually we'll watch this go from in progress to complete it as long as everything goes according to plan. If anything fails for any reason, we'll get a failure message. This page doesn't auto refresh, but if we get on here and hit the refresh button, we can see the progress change from in progress to completed. And again, we can check details to confirm that. A couple of other monitor sections that we can go to to see the status. We can go to monitor edges, and if we change the columns to show edge tunnels, and we mouse over that, we can see the status and a few details about the edge tunnel itself. Also, if we go to events, and we filter specifically for the user SSE, apply that we can see all of the messages specific to the creation of these tunnels. And now that our tunnel is available to use, we need to direct traffic to that tunnel. So we'll go to our configure section. Now we can do this configuration either at the edge level or at the profile level. Profiles allow us to do the configuration once and potentially assign it to multiple edges. So that's where we'll go. We'll go to our profile and on the device section, we'll find our non SD-WAN destination via edge. And we'll enable that, scroll down, and we'll select our Prisma tunnel that we have created earlier. We'll save our changes. And then the last thing we need to do is configure our business policy rules to direct traffic to the tunnel. So we'll go to our business policy section, we'll say add new, we'll give it a name. And we need to decide what traffic we want to direct. Uh, now we can be very granular, we can do this per application. But in this example, we're just going to direct all of our cloud traffic to this tunnel. So we'll go here to define under destination, and we'll say internet. So basically all internet traffic will be directed to this tunnel. And then we need to decide what to do with that traffic. So we go to action, and we go to network service, and we change this from multipath to internet backhaul. We select our non-SD-WAN destination that we've configured earlier. Select Prisma from the drop-down here. And we also need to change our IP version to IPv4 and click Create. Lastly, Save Changes. And now all of our traffic will be directed to Prisma. And that's it for this demo. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.